Many students in Hawaii could now have a better shot at joining a surging industry in the years to come. Eric Nackton has details on a partnership that may be highly profitable for the state's future tech titans. Far more than just fun and games, esports is a multi billion dollar industry. This has been picking up for a few years now. Esports is getting really, really uh, popular. Farrington High School kids now have a new bridge to help pursue their dreams, going from online gaming to careers in technology and possibly scholarship opportunities. And we're just trying to really establish a, a partnership, not just with Farrington, but with the community here. It largely originated with a meeting last fall between the Honolulu City Council's sister city delegation and the University. University of Utah Asia, or UAC, during the group's goodwill trip to Korea. Farrington and UAC have now joined together in an esports partnership. Our economy is growing, technology is growing faster than we can ever imagine, imagine it. UAC, which has highly acclaimed programs in Korea and Utah, sponsored Saturday's gaming tournament at Farrington. But we are um, hopefully uh, prospering here at Farrington and with this partnership is ensuring that there's careers for the future for our students here in not just Kalihi, but in Hawaii and, and ensuring that they can thrive throughout the world. But the University of Utah does a lot in terms of developing games, programs. It's not just about playing the games. This um, program has really like uh, expanded my view of all the esports opportunities. I definitely want to go into like uh, making the games. I enjoy the intricacies of like how the, the game interacts with each other. Many feel esports have grown as big as conventional sports. There are those who associate esports with a sedentary lifestyle or other concerns, but several feel the positives are overwhelming. Well, usually the common mantra for people who are gaming are, you know, they might be sedentary, they might be just trapped in their room playing. Uh, esports industry is trying to change that. Uh, here we have a lot of people out and about, they're socializing, and if you start to look at the collegiate level and the professional level, you'll see that uh, some players are working out or they're lifting weights to kind of stay sharp. The back end of esports is network working, setting up audio systems, video systems, streaming is another big part of esports. There's all this background that makes esports an industry and our students are starting to see that there's a lot of positions that are supporting the players. Students can learn the technology of producing and designing numerous types of programs, skills which include computer science, story development and 3D animation, all which can help create a brighter technical future. Eric Nackton, Island News.